Do you know that Islamic countries have a united military coalition to fight insurgency? Yes, its name is Islamic Military Counterterrorism Coalition, and it was established to end insurgency from all countries where Muslims are in the majority. And guess what? Burkina Faso is its member and has the power to call the United Army of 42 Muslim countries to Burkina Faso to fight the insurgents. This coalition is led by Saudi Arabia and has soldiers from 42 Muslim countries that can be deployed anywhere. Given the increasing instability in Burkina Faso caused by insurgents, funded by foreign powers, people were expecting Ibrahim Traore to call the IMCTC soldiers. So, has he finally made the decision? What can the IMCTC soldiers do? Welcome to a new episode of Black Africa Diary, a channel where we talk about Black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of Black Africa, its stories, and the events defining it. In this episode, we will tell you whether Saudi Arabia has deployed soldiers from 42 countries to Burkina Faso to assist, and what's going on. Let's get started. There have been reports and news that in a landmark development, Saudi Arabia has taken a bold step by deploying its forces to Burkina Faso through the Islamic Military Counterterrorism Coalition, or IMCTC. This initiative comes at a critical time as the Sahel region, especially Burkina Faso, faces increasing threats from militant groups. The arrival of Secretary General Mohamed al mogadi of the IMCTC signals a major shift in how the two nations are working together to enhance security and combat terrorism. On October 13, 2024, Secretary General Major General Mohamed al mogadi arrived in Burkina Faso for a five-day visit. His mission remained secret until after his departure on October 18, 2024, showing the sensitive and strategic nature of his trip. During his time in Burkina Faso, al mogadi toured the country and engaged with local officials, building a framework for deeper military cooperation between Saudi Arabia and Burkina Faso. This deployment has sparked widespread enthusiasm among the Burkina Bay people, who view Saudi Arabia as a powerful ally in the fight against militancy. Saudi Arabia's decision to work closely with Burkina Faso through the IMCTC reflects not just a diplomatic gesture, but a concrete commitment to ensuring national security and counterterrorism efforts in the region. Saudi Arabia's involvement in Burkina Faso is grounded in its advanced counterterrorism expertise. Known for its superior military intelligence and cutting-edge counterterrorism technologies, Saudi Arabia is well positioned to help locate and neutralize militant threats in the Sahel. The kingdom has long maintained internal stability despite being in a volatile region, and its ability to do so has earned it respect and influence across the Arab world. Furthermore, Saudi Arabia's robust intelligence networks, advanced surveillance capabilities, and powerful military infrastructure make it a key player in global counterterrorism. Its reputation for maintaining peace while countering both internal and external threats with minimal media attention adds to its strategic influence on the international stage. However, Saudi Arabia's involvement in counterterrorism efforts in Burkina Faso goes beyond that. That's when you have to know about the Islamic Military Counterterrorism Coalition, which was formed in 2015 under Saudi leadership as a coalition of Muslim-majority countries united in the fight against terrorism. The IMCTC goes beyond just military intervention, offering intelligence sharing, strategic planning, and efforts to counter extremist ideologies and terrorist financing. Because Burkina Faso became part of IMCTC in 2015, the assistance offered by this partnership comes at a time when the country's security situation is increasingly precarious. The Sahel has become a battleground for extremist groups such as Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb and Islamic State in the Greater Sahara, who have been expanding their influence and destabilizing local communities. It's believed that this happened after some foreign powers were helping these insurgents. In turn, that's because Burkina Faso adopted an independent foreign policy, free of France and Western powers. Even it kicked out French troops, which attracted Western anger. However, 
Western powers did not know Burkina Faso could use 42 countries' armies to end what the Western countries started. Through the IMCTC, Saudi Arabia provides not only military support, but also strategic insight on how to effectively combat these insurgent groups. With the involvement of Saudi Arabia and the IMCTC, Burkina Faso is set to benefit from a fresh injection of military resources, intelligence sharing, and logistical support. This partnership represents a crucial step forward in addressing the insurgency, and the bilateral cooperation between the two countries opens the door for future deployments of Saudi troops and equipment alongside Burkina Bay forces. Yet, it goes beyond that. As part of the IMCTC, Burkina Faso can benefit from the military strength and experience of 42 different nations. The combined power of these countries can provide essential support in several ways to help Burkina Faso in its fight against insurgents. First, the IMCTC offers the ability to deploy troops and military equipment to countries like Burkina Faso, where insurgent groups pose serious threats. These forces can reinforce Burkina Faso's own national military and participate in joint operations to target insurgent strongholds. This cooperation is especially critical in regions where insurgent groups operate across borders, such as between Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, making cross-border coordination vital. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. One of the most valuable contributions the IMCTC can make is intelligence sharing. By pooling information from across its member states, the coalition can help track and monitor insurgent movements, enabling more precise and strategic military responses. This intelligence sharing is crucial in identifying insurgent activities that span multiple countries, allowing Burkina Faso to prevent attacks before they occur and better manage its counterinsurgency operations. Even in cases, this intelligence can be used for drone attacks, where collateral damage is minimized. Furthermore, the IMCTC can also play an instrumental role in training Burkinabe forces. Through specialized training in counterinsurgency tactics, urban warfare and border security, Burkina Faso's soldiers can develop the skills needed to face evolving threats. The coalition's experts can help modernize Burkina Faso's military, ensuring that its forces are prepared to respond quickly and effectively to insurgent activities. By building this capacity, Burkina Faso's military will be better equipped to handle both current and future security challenges. Although relatively new, the IMCTC has already played a significant role in addressing terrorism in other parts of the world. In Yemen, Saudi Arabia, a leading member of IMCTC, has played a central role in fighting Houthi rebels and combating Al-Qaeda and ISIS affiliates operating in the region. The coalition's use of air support, ground operations and intelligence coordination has been instrumental in pushing back insurgents. The strategies employed in Yemen provide a useful framework for operations in Burkina Faso, where insurgents often blend into local populations, making the fight against extremism more complex. IMCTC member states have also been key contributors to the global coalition to defeat ISIS in Syria and Iraq. The experience gained from ground operations, airstrikes, and intelligence sharing in these countries helped to dismantle ISIS's territorial control. With ISIS-affiliated groups now active in the Sahel, the lessons learned from Syria and Iraq can be applied to fight insurgents in Burkina Faso, aiding in their eventual defeat. Interestingly, while the IMCTC provides critical short-term military support, its long-term goal is to help Burkina Faso become self-sufficient in its fight against terrorism. Therefore, insurgency won't rise again as soon as IMCTC soldiers leave Burkina Faso. Instead, Burkina Faso will have its own forces ready to take care of insurgents this time the very moment they rise. In this respect, Secretary General Mohamed al mogadi met with Burkina Faso's Minister of Defense with a hands-on mission to assess Burkina Faso's military capabilities and identify areas where Saudi support could be most effective. In a recent speech, President Ibrahim Traoré of Burkina Faso 
acknowledged the historic significance of this partnership with Saudi Arabia. He described the collaboration as a turning point in Burkina Faso's ongoing battle against militancy, highlighting the significant security benefits that will come from the bilateral relationship. President Traoré praised Saudi Arabia's leadership through the IMCTC and emphasized how this alliance has strengthened Burkina Faso's ability to defend itself. He expressed confidence that the IMCTC will continue to play a vital role in helping Burkina Faso eliminate the militant threat that has long plagued the Sahel region. Instead of denying the reality that insurgents are present and are supported by some foreign powers, Ibrahim Traoré said Burkina Faso does have militant groups but they will no longer be present in the near future. He said that these insurgents have caused widespread suffering in towns, cities, and villages, leading to economic stagnation and displacing countless people. And that's enough. He said that insecurity has become a constant reality for many, but despite these challenges, the nation has never hesitated in its determination to resist the demands of these militants. Ibrahim Traore said that from the day he took office, his message has been clear. Burkina Faso will stand strong. Burkina Faso will protect its borders, defend its communities, and restore peace across the country. Because security is the priority, Ibrahim Traore delayed elections so that first, this plaguing problem could be taken care of. After this, the country will have no reason to stop and thrive and become a model state in Africa. He said that to achieve this, Burkina Faso must embrace international partnerships. He said that one of the most important partnerships Burkina Faso has forged is with the Islamic Military Counter-Terrorism Coalition, led by Saudi Arabia. He said that this partnership opens doors for further collaboration with other IMCTC member states, including countries from Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. This growing network of alliances will enhance Burkina Faso's ability to confront terrorism and contribute to global security efforts. A reduction in militant influence will also create a more stable environment for investment, reassuring foreign investors who may have been hesitant due to security concerns. A safer Burkina Faso means more opportunities for economic development and growth. What do you think? Should the IMCTC soldiers from 42 countries be allowed to enter Burkina Faso and wipe off all insurgents? Isn't it true that this will instantly end all the influence foreign powers were holding by controlling the insurgents? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on Ibrahim Traoré and his genius mind to use his power to take care of every problem. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.